What is reuse-oriented software engineering? Reuse-oriented software engineering is a method of software development in which a program is refined by producing a sequence of prototypes called models, each of which is automatically derived from the preceding one according to a sequence of defined rules. Reuse software engineering is a lot like a building kit. It provides quick access and functionality without fear of failure, but it's limited in the scope of the creation. What does this mean? Let me explain in the next slide. Reuse-oriented software engineering is one of the various methods slash models for software development. This model is a method in software projects to reuse source code or computer instructions and modify them if needed, instead of having to start from the beginning. The concept is to start with a piece of reusable software and keep refining it until it meets the needs and specified purpose within the project. The next slide provides a simple example to help clarify. Imagine a man named Fred wants to build a birdhouse. He will have to make a decision. Does he start from scratch or purchase a kit that has all the basic parts that can be modified? The birdhouse kit will provide Fred with a birdhouse that can be modified up to two stories. If Fred builds the birdhouse from scratch, he can build multiple stories. Building from scratch will take an exponential amount of time more than the kit. There's also a greater chance of failure. Fred must decide if the kit provides enough tools to craft what he wants. And if not possible, he will have to build from scratch. The birdhouse kit's methodology represents what reuse software engineering is capable of. Also consider uh, the jump from Windows 8 to Windows 10. Windows 10 wasn't created from scratch. Microsoft utilized reuse-oriented software engineering. Now let me discuss uh, what reuse software engineering qualities are in the next slide. The goal of reuse software engineering is to save time and money, while also reducing costs and risks. Reducing the risk also means less time in testing. Then this leads to faster delivery of software. Reuse-oriented reuse software engineering does lead to some compromises, as reusing and only modifying parts doesn't provide flexibility. Some of the old software may need to be re redesigned, yet it still may not be able to meet the needs of the user. Loss of control can also happen as some software may be under the control of other individuals. So let's summarize our discussion on the last slide. Reuse software engineering is a lot like a building kit. It can be inflexible, but it provides a safer, safer and more robust product. Software also must be refined until it is of use to the project. Hopefully this slide cast helps you understand more about reuse-oriented software engineering. This bibliography is on the last slides, and thank you for watching, and have a great day.